Hello again, Doc and the Clock with uh, Make a Good Mega Man Level Contest Remastered. So third stage was originally by Duvio. Now Ace Spark Chris have taken over, but the gimmick is the same. There are these um, life force gates. And the stage has but the stage has been thoroughly redesigned. For sure. Okay, so that's looping uh, mecha uh, looping mechanic. I don't know if it matters offhand which side I go up. Or if there's just a side that's easier versus more difficult. As it is, I am retaining my uh, pacifist policy. Oh, that's definitely something. Always go where the gates lead, because there's probably something there. So that one wants you to slay something. But I know better. This is an, oh, this is an interesting challenge here. But we do get our disc. And we get one of our hearts. It looks like we need to get two. So I think we have to go back through this. But go up, but make sure we can get the other uh, teleporter. I don't know if particular gates are tied to particular enemies or just every enemy. Oh, I think this one is... I got anti-pacifist gates. So I have to destroy an enemy in order to... Whoa! In order to proceed. It's a violation of pacifism. But we're back to pacifism because if I destroy any of these, I'm done for. Okay, these are like hyper extreme uh uh conveyor belts, which always make me nervous. Oh, hurry, 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 hurry! Doc, you didn't hurry enough. Fortunately, that's a very generous checkpoint. And there we go. We must be getting pretty close to the boss, I imagine. Okay. Well, 
one of those cases where I kind of... Where they're demanding it. I cause something to perish. Oh, that was... I jumped the gun a little bit there. It's creative, making me use these a oh, bit more... <laughs> make me have to think about my decisions to slay or not to slay a little bit more carefully. The checkpointing is also, like, ridiculous or liberal, so... <coughs> Clearly this was designed with the idea that Punishment should not be too extreme for failure here. Dang it. I was trying to land on a platform and do that, but I didn't quite succeed. Okay. Then cheese a little bit. I don't need to use the buster for absolutely everything. something here I undo my access so I need to be careful dang that's I don't like having to choose whether to destroy something or not I want to just be able to run through and plow through every enemy that there is but it does make for an interesting challenge Okay, um... Okay, um... Ah! So I have to hit him in the back. I can't destroy any of the enemies he pops out. I just have to wait them out. <laughs> okay, now that I know what I'm up against. I don't know where the voice samples are from, but that's interesting. Ah. Okay, he does something different with every enemy that he pops out. One long jump for the frogs. Two jumps for this guy. Another two jumps for this guy. Got a dash attack for this guy. Uh, I didn't see that one before, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> and clearly, he does not like that he was defeated. Very interesting stage. Tricky, challenging. Indeed, you have to be thinking about what you're doing. 
Next stage by spin attacks. Not by uh, uh, Blackmore Darkwing, yeah? We have some homage to Glassman here. Whoa. I am really courting death here. And then we have some homage to uh, Neon Gravity. So this is still a kind of uh, uh, using the elements from the top stages type uh, stage here. I wonder if uh, Blackmore Darkway asked uh, someone else to do the stage because he was busy with the uh, third contest. Oh, so far it's primarily just uh, gravity and glass. Will we see some Mario enemies coming in at some point? Well, who knows? Find out. This has got to be a checkpoint. Oh, yep, we got some Mario enemies. We even have Birdo in the background. friend, Lakitu. Don't need to deal with you. Well, I have to keep my eyes open for an alternate path, too. Oh yeah, and... Death Lift. Okay, we have either gravity or glass. It's, oh, it's a refight. So, since we have a refight, I thought it might be a different stage section, but guess not. All right, so we have Glassman, we have Moonface, and we have pillars in the back, uh, glass platforms in the background. It's definitely a uh, top four stages motif here. Just got to check. I still haven't really seen alternate path. Ah. Of course, they could put a disc on something like this, too, which requires a lot of timing and reaction. And I was just a hair too slow. Oh! Ugh. I would have been fine if I had jumped. But instead, no, Mega Man has developed another fascination with sliding. There we go. Which is bonus and which is... Okay, this must be bonus because... 
I remember right. Gemini Laser is not his friend. That should just stay in the corner because in this game, his simple pattern makes the corner very effective. Maybe not perfectly effective. Okay, so that was for a bonus. Alright. Dang it. Something I could beat that there. Tell me there's not a platform coming. might need to be replaced soon. That, that was just me not reacting quickly enough. And uh, once again, I need to... I need to slow down. So I do it again. Way to listen to yourself, Doc. Fortunately, that was the last one, but uh, I can't blame the stage for it. Stupid controller is making things harder. Okay, but now we have Neon Gravity Birdo on a Guts platform. No, it's not even, it's not just that, it's Neon Glass Birdo on a Guts platform. So we in the boss now incorporates, in fact, elements of glass mana, which it did not before. Unless I really, really don't remember, but I don't remember that. All told, though, it's not that difficult a boss. All right, that's all for me for now. Until next time, this is Doc. I'll see you later. <laughs>